Hey guys, I hope you are fine. Today, let's discuss a test case scenario and think about its appropriate solution. I'm working as an IT administrator in XYZ company that have around 500 employees. One day, my manager came to me and shared news that management is deciding to launch some new applications for the users that will be very heavy on computer resources. But the end user devices like desktop or laptops or thin client are not capable enough to run that new load. And the second big problem is that new applications are designed to run only on Windows environment and they will not run on Apple, Mac operating system or Android devices. And the third big concern of the management is that a lot of the users are working either from home or remote areas and they will be losing valuable data saved on that local computers. My manager wants me to suggest a solution that will overcome all these issues. And I have proposed a multiple cloud solution and they decided to go with Microsoft Remote Desktop Services. And now I must do some practice in lab before implementation of real production solutions. So let's go to my lab and see how we can configure the remote desktop solution just in two virtual machines. Okay, before start we lab, I have divided all these stuff in five tasks. The task one, we need to collect all the required software. The first one, I need the server 2019 ISO media to install two virtual machines. And then I need SQL Server, either Express or Standard, or maybe the Data Center Edition, whatever you have. If you are using the Express Edition, then you need two additional software like SQL Server Native Client and SQL Management Studio. And on the third place, we need to get third party SSL certificate. You can either get the free or the paid one. The task two, I will be installing the two virtual machine, one as a domain controller and one as RDSH host. On the third place, I will be initiating the first configurations like the installation of the role of licensing gateway and RDS web on a second machine and then I will set up internal or external DNS. On the fourth place, I will be covering the installation of SQL Server and then I will enable TCP IP on SQL configuration. I need to confirm if the port 1433 is allowed in the firewall and then I need to create a RDSH connection broker security group to migrate the databases. Then I need to ensure the SQL native client is installed on the member server if we are using the express edition and after that we will configure the high availability and in the last we will set up SSL certificate and finally on the fifth phase we will be creating the new collection for the users and we may configure the user profile disk and finally we will perform a couple of tests to check how it works inside or outside of the network so let's jump into the lab all right we are in a lab now although this is called a single server installation but still we need the two servers one domain controller and one we need an other member server to install remote desktop services this lab is simpler and easy but bit lengthy make sure you got your cup of coffee and let's start i already have my domain controller installed here you can see on my screen and now i need to install one more virtual machine to make that machine as a member server so I can install remote desktop services on that machine. So let me log into my vSphere host.
okay i have my both machine ready one is a domain controller and one is rdsh host i have just installed operating system on it and now i will configure remaining things